The neighbor of Elliot Roger, the man police say killed six people in Isla Vista, California Friday night, is talking about his neighbor and the interactions he had with the 22-year-old. He has asked us not to identify him. Take a listen. Can you describe kind of what it is he said to you, um, the times that you did talk to him, the half a dozen or so times you did talk to him? He didn't talk. He just, he didn't talk. I mean, uh, when I, when I talked with him for like the three hours, I pretty much, I would have to say like, I would talk for five minutes to try to like get some sort of reaction. And then he would say, I don't know, one sentence. And then I'd have to talk to him for another five minutes and then one sentence would come out. And like, I mean, I had, I had absolutely no idea. I didn't even know what college he went to. Like I talked with him for that long and I was like, what do you want to do? Like, like what's your major? Like where do you want to go? Like what do you want to do with your life? Never came out. He didn't say a single thing. It was like he seriously did not want friends. Like he's saying he wants friends. He wants like to hang out with people or like he wants girls. And like every single time we invite him outside, there were plenty of girls and just didn't even make an effort, didn't talk to anybody. I mean, he was so closed off and it was like, when he's sitting there, you could just tell he's just thinking these thoughts in his head the entire time. He's just talking to himself in his head the entire time. It's like, why don't you talk to people here? I mean, it, it just... Would you describe him as one of the most strange or odd people you've ever met? Have you ever met anyone like him? I met a lot of stranger people. This is IV. I mean, come on, just walk down to that park and you'll see some crazy people. But the, the, the time that you did talk to him or he talked to you a, a little bit more, was the only time he seemed aggressive, the time when he came and his face was all bruised and, and beaten? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say aggressive, though. He, he just, he was so emotional. Like, I can't, I can't describe how emotional he was. Was he shaking and, and crying? Shaking, or? adrenaline rush, uh, his, his, it was like water faucets just coming out, like, just constantly down his cheeks for a solid half hour. I mean, he was so upset. I've never seen anybody, like, that mad, like, in my entire life. And what threats did he make at that time? Well, he was saying, like, I'm going to kill all those <laughs> I'm going to kill all of them. I'm going to kill myself. Like, I mean, like. And I don't know if that's what set off. I don't know that like if that's what set the plan in motion. But that's a long time in the making because that was a long time ago. How yeah. long ago was that? Uh, like I want to say four to seven months ago. But uh, when they did the press conference, they said that happened like July 15th when he went to the hospital. So I'm guessing that's like when it happened. So yeah. He said that he'd been planning it for a year. So we're almost on a year. So yeah, that's. But I it wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, he got the crap kicked out of him, but I can't imagine that's the one event that set him off.